Okay, everyone, it's Roy and Lisa with Avery's All In coming to you with a nice little unboxing video. We went to a live auction the other day, Dempsey's Auction, and one of the reasons we went is because we saw some glowing glass. Um, but we bought more than just that, so let's get into this. So they had a couple lots, a few lots, of what we thought was going to be glowing glass, and lo and behold, we found a nice little what candy dish with it did have a plate with it it actually had a few other pieces with it I'm gonna show you some depression glass but we bought this specifically because it was a nice little piece with as you see a little ladle and it does glow So I know it's a little hard. We have the lights on, but you can see that nice little glow from the uranium that is in these plates. Uh, and we actually paid, it was $35 for this lot. Um, this little piece here though, I figure we can at least get between 30 to $45 for. So that's gonna pay for the lot. Um, this actually was not with it, but this was some other depression glass we got. Now, this was a different lot and I did a bad thing and did not actually test all of the green glass. Um, so I think that came on it like that, correct? Yep. So this was like a, what, creamer, sugar, little dish? Yep, with a caddy. That looked nice. I think we can still get some money for that, but uh, it is not going in our cabinet. Um, because it does not glow the way we want it to. So, shame on me. Um, but if you look at these pieces, you would think just by glancing that that would probably glow. So you really always do have to test everything uh, to make sure. But that's still a nice piece. So I'm hoping that we can get, you know, some good money for it still. But this was also in it, and so that was another piece of green glass in that lot. And make sure it's not a lid in this one. And that piece was in this lot. So we still, as you can see, that has the nice green glow, as well as look at that top right there. You can see it glowing in the lid, and this has the green glow so there was still some uranium glass in this lot all these pieces came together um but i really didn't test that and of course was reminded why you gotta have your black light out and you gotta test everything you know we were at a live auction so what i will say is i'm always concerned or thinking about you know people looking at the same lots and if their interest is the same as ours i'm giving away the uranium glass because no one else had a black light there to test it so um at least i didn't see anybody else flashing a black light so you know the last thing you want to do is share that information with somebody and now you're paying more for a lot because you just gave other people a good reason to want to bid on it as well in this lot, I, I had mentioned we had paid $35 for this. This was stacked. That was how the lot was on the table. So we got all these pink depression glasses, uh, glass plates. And in the other lot here, we got the, the sugar and creamer pitchers. So we'll probably sell those either, a, probably separate, right? Yep. Um, but between the plates, the uh, creamer and sugar pitcher and this nice little caddy um, I'm hoping we can at least get 50 to 60 bucks out of it which is gonna help us get recoup some of the money we got trying to get the uranium glass and sometimes that's the way it works you buy a lot of items and then you can sell the stuff that you don't want and uh, that will help reduce the cost for the items you want to keep so those 
uranium glass pieces will go in our nice little display cabinet that we'll be building here at the warehouse. We did a little flip-flop because these are some of the things that I bought. Uh, there was a ton of cats. And so I know we have a lot of cat lovers in our online auction. So I bought part of the cat collection that they had there. And so what I'm pulling out are just a bunch of different types of cat. Okay. And I'm gonna pull two things out that we'll talk about in a second Ooh, that are not that cats. And get some of this packing material out of the way. There we go. Ooh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's made in Japan. There's a garbage cat. <laughs> Oscar, the grouch. He is. Wow, I can barely see that back there. That's small, but yeah. detailed. I mean, these are all kind of on the small side. Oh, I think something goes in there because there's a little... <laughs> fish a dead fish bone in there so i'll have to figure out which piece goes with that <laughs> so just all kinds of cats and i think our cat people are gonna love this well was th this was a couple lots or was it all one lot? I think I got two lots and there were actually maybe five lots total of similar. Okay. So I don't know how many total. This is a tr little tiny trinket box. Nice. And as you can see, it is a lot of cats in there. So there's ceramic, this is metal. There's like alabaster and marble. This one's also all metal, very heavy. So as you can see, we got a bunch of strays here and uh, they're looking for new homes. Mm -hmm. This one might be, might be wood or made to look like wood. Just a couple more. Hmm. That one I think says Japan on it. Yep, so that okay. is vintage. So not all these are vintage, but this is the cat collection. So. Okay. <clears throat> I was kind of excited about that. <laughs> don't know how we're going to sell these yet probably break them up into smaller lots five or six maybe um and then and that actually that plate was on that so then there was also at this auction a collection of these really interesting looking dolls figures there was a ton of these and they all went higher than i wanted to pay because i don't know a lot about them this one is not marked but i'm gonna do a google search and i was doing some research while i was there so um again i don't know a lot about these this one is marked Mm, Bethany Lowe Designs. So we got to figure out what value these have, but these are probably going to go on eBay because they need a big old broad audience um, to find the right collector, to find the right buyer. But I just thought they were really interesting. Again, these were just two of a big collection that they were selling that night. All right, the last thing that we picked up at the auction, we came over here because it's bigger and we have it, well, it just landed here inside the door. It's a huge lot. We don't even know if these are standees or, um, we know it's some type of promotional material. 
So and we, we have think... a couple different pieces that are similar, so I don't know how it goes together, but we'll have to figure that out. And we think it's some kind of display because there's these like plastic screws that are still in there. And so, but it just was really um, cool because we've had like cardboard standees before of characters and um, we've done pretty well with them. So we thought, oh, these would be good for the online auction. Yeah. And here's another so one. So you can see, you can see the size of them. And I'm assuming that this is probably a display or two. That see? one looks like the same, so. It is, but I don't want to rip it because it's stuck on it. And we got two of these sides. And I have a feeling like it was, it's probably like this is the top and these are side pieces. And this probably all somehow goes together. But we'll have to do our research to figure out what it was supposed to look like. Lion King, see this has probably where the little hole was for the grommet. Ripped yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So it's not perfect. And... So I have a feeling this might all go together based off the way that when we saw it in the uh, auction, it was all piled together. But then we also got <laughs> all of this here, this whole pile of cardboard. And I think this was probably one of the best buys of the night because we only paid $17.50 for all of it. And this looks like it has something to do with Lion King. Um, this actually is more of a matte finish than the, well, a little glossy. Yep, see here we are. Simba. So this is definitely I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but a <laughs> nice little post-it note. So we're looking at Lion King on this one. And I'm hoping all the pieces are there, but of course we'll have to figure that out. Um, how this goes together, what all's in here, did we get all the pieces with it? So what, there were some clues that this was the Lion King, but then we have this big here, let's show them what this says. Kmart exclusive, The Lion King, video <laughs> promotion materials, display Tuesday, February 28th, 1995. Yeah. This thing is still sealed. Is it still sealed? It, they've or taped it, it back. It's okay. been open. Okay, so it's been opened, but we don't know if it's ever been out of the box. So, so that's kind of the big thing there. Headers enclosed. Mm. I don't know if this all goes together. No, nine eighteen ninety five. Uh oh. So goofy movie. So this is some more promotional stuff right here. So we got all these boxes that came with it. Um, so what does that one say on the outside? Cinderella. Okay. Is there a date? Ten twenty two ninety five. So all so, of this was happening in 1995. So let's pull this out and just get an idea. This might actually be a stand up. There we are, Cinderella, available October 4th. Hmm. Said on their free booklets, take one. So I'm wondering if we may end up finding one in here, but. We got a couple different. Maybe it's just the different sides. Oops. Oopsie. But nah, that that was this piece right here, so it was cut out already. More Cinderella. And since these look pretty crisp and some of the cutouts were still on it, this may have never been set up. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. <laughs> so we might be able to find the directions in here that say how to set it up, which now leads me to the interest of that one right there. The Lion King promotional one. Did they ever set that one up since it's like, did they just open the box, look at it 
and then close the box back up. Is that possible? Let's see. Well, it's been in storage for a while.